This week, 48 Hours at the University of Minnesota on Tailgate 48. On the Big Ten Network. If Tubby says so, you know it's true. This is Tailgate 48, presented by Omaha Steaks. Tailgate! Tailgate! Let's do this! From the Big Ten Network, right here. Welcome to Tailgate 48, presented by Omaha Steaks. We are coming to you from the University of Minnesota for one of the oldest rivalries in all of college football between the Wisconsin Badgers and the Minnesota Golden Gophers. That's right, it's all about Paul Bunyan's ax this weekend. But before the big game, we've got so much to see and do here on the campus of the University of Minnesota. That's right, you're gonna get a chance to hang out with the women's hockey team. Yeah. Can't wait for that. I'm gonna get to check out some local Minnesota flavor, and not to mention, we got a whole lot of tailgating to get done. A lot. We have to find our Omaha Steaks tailgate winner of the week. All right, so let's get to it. 48 hours from the University of Minnesota starts right now. Today at the University of Minnesota, I want to see if the women's hockey team can hang with this. Look out, ladies. I am here with Bethany, Sarah, Bailey, and Nora, four members of the Minnesota Golden Gophers women's hockey team. Currently ranked third in the country, what are your goals and hopes for this season? We got a lot of high expectations for ourselves and each other, so every day we go out there trying to do our best, get better every weekend, and try and get the W. What made you all decide to come here and play in Minnesota? Well, I came to visit here, and I just love the program. Love the girls, they were all so welcoming. You know, it is a program with a ton of tradition, obviously, and I can speak for all of us and say that it's completely an honor to play for University of Minnesota. And here comes that penalty killing unit on the breakaway, they score! Second short and a goal of the game. Are you ready for your biggest challenge yet? I'm an angel on the ice. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, ladies. Doing good. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, <laughs> lady. Hey. Gotcha. Gotcha. You got me. Keep you on your toes. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I'm fine. I'm ready to go. We're really good at the kidding part. Yeah. I'm ready for some drills. Yes, you are. Yeah. Start in the corner. Yep. Go up around the circle. And um, you just yell for a pass when you're ready for it. Okay. Okay. Talk to you in like 10 minutes. How would you shovel snow? I would shovel snow like, yeah. like that. Perfect. Like, Puck me. Puck me again. No. <laughs> ah! You are an Olympic medalist goalie. Tell me how it's done. All right, so bend your knees a little bit. Yes. Bend forward a little bit. Yeah. Do your glove, hands in front, nice and comfy. Nothing, you got nothing, hey! We're gonna see what he's really made of. Who knows what's gonna happen. Oh. Did that go in? Oh. Back and more! Oh! oh. Tricked you. Oh. bad as a goalie. Nora, what do you think? There is some potential. Could I be your backup? Yeah, sure, like a third backup. I'll be the fourth backup. I'll take that. Thank you so much. The Minnesota women's hockey team currently ranked third in the country, but number one in our hearts. All right, ladies, give me two. You're watching Tailgate 48 on the Big Ten Network from the University of Minnesota. 
I'm here in the Golden Gophers locker room. I'm here with Kyle Gurgley. What exactly do you do here? I'm the director of football equipment for the Gopher football team. Nice. Can you show me around? Sure. No problem. This locker room is one of the biggest in the country, if not the biggest. It's huge. It's, it's, six, it's massive. Yes, it is 60 yards long by 25 wide. It's an unbelievably huge locker room. And it's actually shaped like a football. <laughs> now, tell me about this part, because this looks like it's this is the wrestling ring or something. What happens over here and why is it roped off? Um, it's roped off because we want to treat the M as a special deal. Nobody gets to walk on it. Um, the only time we remove those standards is after a win. Um, we'll come in, myself and my assistant Andy will come in, we'll clean those standards out, and we'll sing our uh, fight song, The Rouser, on the M, and that's kind of our celebratory deal when we win a game here. I see Tony Dungy, number nine. He's a very big deal here, and I'm from Indianapolis, and he, he was a coach uh, with the Indianapolis Colts there for a long time, so I have a lot of respect and admiration for the man and what he's done here and at Indianapolis. Kyle, thank you so much for the tour. You're welcome. It was my pleasure. I will see you on the sidelines on game day. Yes, ma'am. There is so much more coming up from the University of Minnesota right here on Tailgate 48. Brought to you by Omaha Steaks only on the Big Ten Network. Don't go anywhere. Tailgate 48 is presented by Omaha Steaks, the official sponsor of tailgating. This is Tailgate 48 presented by Omaha Steaks. campus at the University of Minnesota in front of the Student Union. Let's go talk to some Golden Gophers. Come on. Oh, oh, sorry. How, you getting a good nap in? Yeah, pretty good. So is this quiet time at the Student Union right now? Yes. It gets pretty cold here, right? Oh, not if you're already from Minnesota. <laughs> Are you from Minnesota? Yeah, love the weather. Right now it's like hot usually for this time of year. This is hot out. I'm freezing. How big is this rivalry between the Golden Gophers and the Badgers? Oh, it's huge. It's crazy. <laughs> How nutty is this place going to go off if Minnesota pulls out a win? It'll be crazy town here if we win. Is there any kind of Golden Gophers cheers that I need to know so I can go um, out prepared? Well, I think a good one for tomorrow is we say, ah, uh, yeah, better dead than red. Ah, uh, yeah, better dead than red. I'm here with the winningest baseball coach in Big Ten history, John Anderson. Get set. Go. Here they come. Congratulations to Minnesota and John Anderson. They celebrate the tournament title in 2010. What do you think is the key to your success for, for being here year after year and having successful teams? It's people. It's all about people. You can talk about bricks and mortars and facilities, and those things are important. But it can't have a successful organization. Anything you can do unless you surround yourself with great people. Mm. And I've been blessed. I've been surrounded by some just tremendous student athletes in my career. What are your hopes and goals for this upcoming year? The expectation doesn't change year to year. It's we're going to have a quality team that's going to go out and compete and play hard and, and contend for a Big Ten championship. And historically, we've been able to do that. More importantly, you're going to come here, work hard, get a degree, graduate, have a positive and meaningful experience, and hopefully add to that history and tradition by winning some baseball games on the field. Thank you so much, Coach. Thanks, I gotta get out of here. I got a lot of this campus left yeah. to see. Go check it out. You'll enjoy it. It's a wonderful campus. All right, time to gear up for this game. Come on. Hi. Hi. Do you work here? I do. I need you to help me get outfitted for this big game against Wisconsin. We Come on. Here. Come on. Jacket. <gasps> I like. Good. Like this too. Oh, cute. Can you ever have too much Minnesota gear on? I don't think so. Now I need some headgear. Number one. Number two. I do need mittens. I kind of feel like a Muppet. I think I need this too. Oh, this is cool. Ready. Hi. Hi. All set? I am all set. There is so much more Tailgate 48 coming up right here on the Big Ten Network from the University of Minnesota. People are fired up. That is a plate of meat right there. We're going to offer you a lot more than that. Okay, all right. Chuck move to the five. Touchdown, Wisconsin. It's a symbol of victory. We're taking it home again. Now it's time for the Troop Salute, brought to you by the United States Marine Corps. Hi, my name is Lance Cooper Anthony Marquez from Lafayette, Indiana. I'm currently deployed to Helmand Province, Afghanistan. I want to give a shout out to Coach Danny Hope and the Purdue Boilermakers 
Good luck this season. Boiler up. You're watching the Big Ten Network. Hoorah! Tailgate 48 is presented by Omaha Steaks. This is Tailgate 48, presented by Omaha Steaks. Welcome back to Tailgate 48. It is day two here from the University of Minnesota, and what a perfect day for a football game. But first, we've got a lot of tailgating to do. Yeah, and as you can pretty much see, we've got our work cut out for us. So let's find our Omaha Steaks Tailgate winner of the week. Let's do this. Hit me. Tickles. We're getting things started right. Is this bacon wrapped asparagus? We want a healthy balance, but we're not from Wisconsin. You had me at bacon. What are these? Cheese curds. Those are cheese curds? If they don't squeak, they're not real curds. They don't squeak. They don't squeak? We're in Minnesota. They're not real cheese curds. Oh, you hear that, Minnesota? You got fake cheese curds. What do you got going on here? Uh, some sliders. Perfect for a little appetizer. The next person that comes out, we're going to surprise them. Who's going to be our lucky interview? Congratulations, sir. How was that? That was really good. That was great. You, you won yourself an interview on the Big Ten Network. And it's coming out of a porta potty. You never know. Where the idea came from to have an ambulance as a tailgating vehicle. How do you put those together? Well, inside it's got all the electrical components, it's got a ton of storage. Contacted the University of Minnesota to use all these decals, and we turned it into a gopher fanbulance. We really have like four generations of people, and ironically, we have 48 season ticket holders. That works perfect with Tailgate 48. Is Minnesota gonna win today? You betcha. You betcha. That's like the state yeah. slogan right there. Who's in charge of this tailgate? We're in search of the best tailgates all across the Big Ten. This is it. We have great uh, friends here. We have great food here. So what is the theme today since we're going up against the Badgers? Well, I, I'll show you. We play for the axe. Is that a pork chop? It's a pork chop on a stick. Each school has a cheer. What's the Minnesota cheer? Like anything I've ever seen. Well, we had, a, we had to make a lot of improvements to it when we got it. But the first thing we did is we had to get a satellite dish and a big screen TV so we could play the Big Ten Network. What's better to play before a game than the Big Ten Network? Hey! What's up? Jason, I think we have found it. I am astounded. This is a fanbulance. Is this the best tailgate in Minnesota? This is the best tailgate! This is the best I agree. I agree. Congratulations! Definitely. We gotta go to the game here at the University of Minnesota, right here on Tailgate 48 on the Big Ten Network! Here is the Omaha Steaks Tailgate Tip of the Week. Be prepared. Reduce the risk of forgetting your tailgate essentials, like silverware, napkins, and paper plates, by keeping them packed in a storage container and ready to go to the game each week. An Omaha Steaks cooler works great for storing tailgate items. For more tailgate tips, log on to Omaha Steaks Tailgate site at www.officialsponsoroftailgating.com. Tailgate 48 is presented to you by Omaha Steaks, the official sponsor of tailgating. Good is 
that brought? This brought is awesome. Is that how you like your steak cooked? I like them rare to medium rare. Is that good or what? How's that burger? Perfect. Everybody else here is eating, except for you. That New York strip right there has got my name on it. We don't need utensils. <laughs> I'll eat these any day of the week. This is perfect. I'm going to take this hot dog and I'm going to get in and check out the game. Paul Bunyan's axe, baby! Is it going to be Minnesota or is it going to be Wisconsin? Let's get in there and find out. It's always been a bit raw with Wisconsin, you know. And, uh, you know, every time we come in town, we like to tear that big patch. We're going to be chopping down some golf balls, baby. Gophers, baby! Go, go! Who's going to win today, Wisconsin or Minnesota? Wisconsin. Wilson takes the snap, blitz coming, and wide open is Monty Ball. Left side, he'll catch it and score it. And he is in for the game's first touchdown. Keep up! He's hand off the ball, off the left side of the 10-yard line. Juke move to the five. Touchdown, Wisconsin! What up, guys? What's going on? Well, you can't beat them, join them. All right. It's 14-0 Wisconsin at the end of the first quarter. How you guys feeling? Feeling pretty good? Let's go, Badgers! We have to stay motivated. We have to believe we can get that ass. Minnesota! Minnesota! Hey! Third down takes the snap, rolls to his left, throws left side, Nick Toon the catch, inside the five, Toon to the end zone, touchdown Wisconsin! And it's 20 to nothing, the Badgers. What kind of game is it going to be? A blowout? Or are we going to have a game? Let's go, Golden Gophers. Show me something. This will be a 22-yard attempt, about an extra point. Snap back. It's the fake. They pitch it out. Wettstein breaks one tackle, gets to the five, and he's in! And it's a touchdown, Minnesota! A fake field goal. They pull it off. They're in this game. So you're down early. It's 21 to 6. Can you win this game? How are you feeling? Marquise has got to pull out his inner Tom Brady like last week. We'll be right back in it. Right. Back big things from the Gophers. Well, they're bringing a linebacker. Wilson throwing left side for Toon. Touchdown, Wisconsin! It is halftime here in Minnesota, and a big lead for the Badgers. They're up 28-6. to six. That's right. As of right now, it pretty much looks like that Paul Bunyan axe is staying at Camp Randall. Down to Dewan Bennett at his own 5, 10, 15, 20, has a hole, 30. 35 to the outside, 40, a man to beat to midfield. He's to the 40, 30, a man to beat again, 20, 10, touchdown! Dewan Bennett, 95 yards, and the sideline is on fire. Minnesota's coming back! able to feel the love even yes. though you're from rival teams. Yes. yes. And I'm from Minnesota, so I have a little bit of gopher in me. Spin your head! Spin your head! Spin your head! Oh! Formation in the jumbo package. Play fake Wilson. Rolls off to his right. Throws right side. Jacob Pedersen makes the catch. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Coach Alvarez, big showdown here in Minnesota. Your team obviously coming out with that Paul Bunyan axe. Well, we make a big deal out of the axe. That's the longest ongoing rivalry, and uh, we make a big deal of it. It's a symbol of victory, and we're taking it home again. This is a healthy rivalry with Wisconsin and Minnesota. We just hope we can um, make it a, a good rivalry. 
Why is it such a heated rivalry? Because it's lasted for a long time and the axe is very important. It's great that Wisconsin continues to have it. Minnesota might be down, but we still know how to party. Wisconsin is driving and they're running up the score. They're already leading 35 to 13 here in the second half. They're looking to score another touchdown. To left, Wilson takes the snap. He'll give it to Monty Ball off the left side. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Touchdown, Monty Ball. Number 27 on the year. And that is a Big Ten single season record. Now, you're losing 42 to 13, but you still have a lot of energy and enthusiasm. How do you do it? We are just true Gopher fans, and we believe in them till the end. And that's the game. And final score, Wisconsin, 42 to Minnesota, 13. And they win the Paul Bunyan Axe. It stays with Wisconsin. Another victory by the Badgers. To get that axe back. Yeah, how does it feel to keep the axe another year? Great, baby! Eight years! What's it like to hold that axe, and how great does it feel to have it back at Camp Ranch? It's great. We've been here for seven years, just represents the win. It's great. This is your first year here as a Badger, but you can feel this rivalry and this intensity between these two schools. What is that like? Uh, it's nothing like it. You know, it's a great experience. It's a big win for us, and we just got to keep it going. Wisconsin and Minnesota, they do not like each other. This rivalry is for real. It was a blowout game, 42 to 13, but the intensity never died. An amazing 48 hours here at the University of Minnesota, and we got to see this guy in the Badgers defeat Minnesota, 42 to 13. That's right, nice job, Bucky. The Badgers are taking home the Paul Bunyan Axe for the eighth year in a row. Well done. How are we going to top this one? I'll tell you how we're going to top it. Next episode, we're coming to you from Champaign, Illinois, when the Badgers come to town to take on the Fighting Illini. We'll see you then right here on Tailgate 48. On the Big Ten Network.